electrocautery is a very important thing in surgery it has literally revolutionized the various surgical techniques available today be it laparoscopy or even in the open surgery so it's very important to understand how the cautery works and what is bipolar cautery and monopolar cautery so in this video we are going to talk about this thing cautery literally means cauterization literally means burning the skin or flesh with heated instrument now the, in the history if you have seen that history uh, in the history the cautery has been used since last you know 1000 years okay so at that time the fire was used as an essential remedy while treating something let's say if if they were uh, in ancient times if they want to treat the warts uh, wounds infections uh, bleeding even git disorder they used to use cautery cauterization that means they they use they used uh, iron rods okay and they they used to you know heat the iron rods and apply that on that particular wart and wounds to cauterize them so that they will not bleeding uh, and uh, they will you know uh, they would uh, uh, coagulate the all the uh, skin and subcutaneous tissues and it will have a different uh, treatment remedies at that time so it was used since years okay by applying the hot iron rods now understand the mechanism how it is work how we, how it works uh, heat coagulates the protein and the body molecules when applied to that okay it just melts the body okay heat coagulates and melts the body so it can cut the tissue and the cut margins are coagulated so the blood vessels there which is cut in uh, while cutting is also sealed automatically so there is no bleeding right so the heat can be either intense and less intense the intense heat in the cautery it directly cuts the tissue right it directly cuts the tissue while the less intense heat can destroy the basic structure of tissue but not cut it uh, so we can say it it coagulates the tissue and when the basic structures molecular structures of the tissue is destroyed then the blood vessels are sealed by them already uh, automatically so the bleeding will be stopped right so now the heat can be generated by various measure it can be generated by just like fire this we were using in the ancient time it can be generated electrically that right now we are using it can also generate it with the laser energy and even the high sound frequency that we use that is also very important nowadays in laparoscopy where we use harmonic scalpels so sound frequencies can also generate heat but again what i am trying to say heat is generated by various methods but the electric method that we use nowadays is very common and very important electro in the electrocautery the heat is generated by the electric energy now the human body understand the electric properties of human body human body is a conductor remember it is not the non conductor it is conductor that's why we got shock okay accidentally when we touch the switchboard so yeah human body is what conductor of the electricity but but it is a bad conductor right it's a bad conductor that means the resistance in the body okay to pass the electric current is very high so the resistance is very high now understand the simple exam example of how a circuit or electric circuit works now this is a power source or let's say battery of powers and uh, here is one uh, uh, pole and plus pole and minus pole here right and between the plus pole and minus pole we have a rod here and if you switch on then the electric current will pass from plus pole to minus pole and the rod will be heated right now heat 
generated into the rod is directly proportional to the resistance of the material of the rod okay so if we put a body tissue instead of the rod that means the body has a very high resistance for it so it will generate enormous heat okay so because of the body tissue is very resistant so because of the resistance of the body the heat is generated very enormous okay so to have a cautery the circuit is must that means if you want to use the electric energy then the circuit electric circuit is must uh, to be maintained okay so the two poles must be connected to the body tissue so if you want to generate uh, uh you know uh, a current at that time the two pole in the current in the body uh, our human body then you need to attach the two poles of the electricity uh, at the one time okay now electrosurgery is of two types monopolar and bipolar both types completes the circuit means both the in both of the types both the poles are connected to the body tissue but the way of connecting is different let's take an example of monopolar cautery let's say here here is a generator so it is let's say a power source and the one pole uh, is uh, associated with the probe that is uh, the surgeon is handling right so we have a, a cable and a handpiece with electrode at that uh, uh, surgeon's end and we also have uh, one Di, uh, dispersive pad that is also attached to the patient here at the uh, at the leg end okay so what happens actually the electric current passes from one electrode to the another electrode so it's like here okay so from the electrode to the dispersive pad and the pedal here is used as a switch okay the surgeon can press the pedal when he whenever he wants to use the cautery now this is a example of probe of the monopolar cautery so here is only one electrode and this uh, sway, uh, this pin is going to be fitted into the generator here right here here is the electro generator and the uh, there is another uh, another electrode is uh, associated with this you know pad that is very uh, uh, conductor pad which is kept in, uh, kept in the contact with the patient in the lower limbs right so this is how an electric generator electric generator and monopolar cautery works this is a pedal which uses as a switch right now now one thing i want to discuss about uh, a principle is a lateral spread so this is the monopolar cautery and when the monopolar cautery is applied to a special a body part right so it will generate the heat enormously at the point where it is applied okay and the heat generated is spread nearby the pinpoint but it is lesser one okay it becomes lesser and lesser one for example if i say that i am applying this probe to this point then at this particular point the heat will be enormous but it will decrease as we go laterally okay so this is called lateral spread that means heat is also here if you apply the you know probe at this point that doesn't mean that heat will not come to this uh, lateral uh, point it can come to that point but it will be in less intensity now now what about bipolar cautery bipolar cautery looks like this as you can see here the two probes the two electrodes are in the same instrument okay here is the monopolar cautery where the surgeon's probe have only one electrode while in the bipolar cautery the surgeon's electrode surgeon's probe has two electrodes right it does not have a, a, a dispersive pad bipolar cautery does not have a pad okay so no depressed pad both folds are in the cautery probe so the current pass is between them only and not through the whole body so the current will pass from here only okay so the current will pass like this and it will not go through the body which occurs in the monopolar cautery 
right now general principle in the court there are generally two setting most of the time there are two settings the first one is a cut and second one is a coagulation in the cut in the cut you know settings uh, the energy applied will be very very more so you know in more intense heat will be generated on the smaller surface area and it will just cut the tissue that more energy will be applied okay and it will cut the tissue just like that and second settings is coagulation where less energy is applied so it will not destroy the tissue or uh, you know um, it will not just you know, uh, destroy and cut the tissue but it will just disrupt the basic uh, tissue structure or proteins so uh, coagulation is used to get hemostasis while the cut setting is used to do cutting and it can be used with the same both of the settings can be used with the same probe and uh, there are most of the time there are switches on the probe where you can apply both of these uh, settings whatever you want right lateral spread already i told you that uh, lateral spread is when the cautery is intended to a specific pit point but it spreads laterally and involves another un it involves another unwanted tissues also this is, is more common in monopolar cautery. But in bipolar cautery, as you know that the both of the probes are uh, in this, uh, both of the electrodes are in the same probe. And they are just, you know, one centimeter, one and one and a half centimeter uh, 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 distance or far to each other. So energy only runs between these two poles, which are very near to each other. So the spread doesn't go you know uh, in the laterally uh, heat doesn't spread laterally that happens actually in the monopolar cautery so this is a setting of monopolar cautery in which the one electrode is in the patient uh, surgeon's probe and another electrode is attached to the patient with the help of pad while in bipolar surgery the both of the electrodes are in the probe of the surgeon so this is how uh, electro cautery works Electrocorty uh, uh, is very important in both of the surgeries like open surgeries and even laparoscopic surgeries. Bipolar cautery is more common to be used in laparoscopic surgery and monopolar cautery is moreover to be used in the in the in the uh, uh, open surgery right so uh, if you like this video and I have a series called Viva series in my channel if you if you join that channel and if you join the membership you can have various videos like this about gynecological surgery and obstetric even obstetrics and everything so just uh, just get this uh, membership done and then you can utilize all the videos uh, with the simplest uh, you know simplest kind of uh, uh, solutions that you uh, you will never find at anywhere um, or in just books or even you know in some uh, other materials so kindly uh, kindly subscribe and kindly have a uh, kindly join the channel to get simple simplistic explanation to every, each and every point about obstetrics and gynecology thank you friends